Welcome back to SCV TV's Community Corner. I'm Patricia Silva, a correspondent for SCV TV's Community Corner, and I'm pleased to be joined by Susan Friend Turner of Golden Years Dog Sanctuary. Thanks so much for being here, Susan. Thank you for having me. Of course, it's a, our pleasure, honestly, and definitely want to talk about Golden Years Dog, Dog Sanctuary. And as you state in the name of your nonprofit, it's a sanctuary for dogs who are in their senior years, but were like, for whatever reason, going to live out those years, maybe outside of a home or without a family to care for them. So uh, why did you decide to dedicate your life to providing a sanctuary for dogs in this sort of situation? Well, um, we've always saved dogs. We have a horse farm. And in the last 18 years, we've had over 50 dogs that have been dumped on our property. And uh, we would just always find homes for them. And when people stopped dumping dogs on their property, we had to go to the shelter and save dogs. And I always went for the really ugly, the really old, the sick, the ones that no one else would ever get out of the, out of the shelter. And that's how we decided to start this. So we always are looking for the oldest ones as possible. Sick is fine. Um, and we just want to give them a last little bit of life because these dogs deserve to spend their last life on a couch in a bed with somebody loving them and not on a cement floor before they're euthanized. Absolutely. And I think that is such a beautiful thing to do, especially for these dogs who might not have other options besides being outside of a loving home like that. Um, and but also on Besides dogs, too, you guys also have work that you do with kittens. You, I know you foster kittens. So can you speak on that aspect of Golden Years and kind of what sort of work you do to help these kittens? Sure. Well, I actually am also a volunteer at Castaic Animal Care Center. I started volunteering there uh, before I actually be started the dog sanctuary. And um, I foster kittens and I also foster the at-risk cats. In two years, we saved over 100 feral cats that would have otherwise probably had a worse life than what we gave them. And we foster all the kittens as well. And the kittens, it's a lot of, um, you know, fostering the county can only help so much. And so the sanctuary also helps with the networking and with any vet bills on the kittens. And now with COVID, as everybody knows, it's a lot more difficult sometimes to get in contact with the shelter and there's only certain cats or kittens that they'll take. And so we've still been, um, fostering some of these moms with kittens or kittens that have been abandoned and um, again, finding them homes. That's amazing. And I mean, all the work that you guys are doing is just so impactful for these animals lives and just really for the community as a whole to see something that nice going on in their community. Um, and kind of shifting gears, I also do want to touch a little bit on the whole topic of senior dogs. Uh, I know, that for some adopters or people that are looking into maybe adopting a senior dog to kind of do something similar that you guys do at the sanctuary, it might make them a little nervous because they feel like there might be an, a lot of extra responsibility that comes with having a senior dog health wise, different things like that. So what sort of advice would you give to those who are maybe unsure of taking on a senior dog? Well, the first thing I'll say is that most people, when they come, either my clients or when they come to the sanctuary, they can never believe half my dogs are senior dogs. I have the youngest dog I have is 10. Most of them are 12, 13 years old, and they still run around the farm and run up and down the hills and follow me up and down the barn. And they have lots of energy. So a lot of these dogs, when they're older and they're in a cement kennel, they don't move around and they're sore. And the shelter often thinks that they have a lot of uh, issues with mobility. And I find that once they get out and they can move around and a lot of them do much better. Um, so, you know, and there's a lot of, a lot of my dog, all my dogs get Costaquin and some of my dogs are on Rimadel, which is an anti-inflammatory and just giving them a little bit of medicine and a lot of love. They actually bounce back and they last a long time. I mean, ultimately any dog you adopt at some point is, going to die. I mean, we're going to outlive them and that's a fact, but it's very rewarding to take a dog that has had, whether it's had a good life or a rough life and you adopt it as a senior, they are so thankful and they're so grateful and they're just very happy. And it's so wonderful to see a senior dog like that, get up and wag its tail and walk up and down the stairs. And eventually when it has trouble, we help them walk up and down the stairs. And, um, I think it's very rewarding. 
Absolutely. And because you guys are doing such amazing work, we obviously want to give you a signal boost and sort of talk about how could the community support you? And if they're looking for more information about what you guys do at Golden Years, how can people go about getting that information? Well, we do have a website. It's uh, goldenyearsdogsanctuary.com. We are also on Instagram and Facebook under the same name, goldenyearsdogsanctuary.com. Um, we are an Amazon Smile partner. So if people shop on Amazon and they want to help our dog sanctuary, they can put us as their um, donating uh, organization. And we also have a wish list on Amazon if uh, people want to donate uh, food. We always need food. We always need pill pockets. We always need Cosequin. And those are on our um on our wish list. And also we partnered with Chewy.com. So if you've never shopped at Chewy.com and you sign up there and you use our name, I think you get 20% discount and we also get a small donation from Chewy.com. And those are the main ways that you can help us out. Awesome, awesome. Well, uh, Susan, I wanna thank you so much for being here on the program today and for letting us talk about Golden Years Dog Sanctuary, see what you guys do, all the great work that you do. Thank you so thank much you. for being here. So Thanks. guys, up next, Carrie and Dave will be speaking with the city of Santa Clarita city librarian, Shannon Vonnegut. Stay tuned. <laughs>